guys, it's Gina, and I'm going to share with you my recipe for beef, round steak, and gravy that I'm going to make in the Instapot. I'm going to be using a package of beef round steak, and I'm also going to add to this a package of beefy onion soup mix. I'm going to season my meat with my Creole seasoning. I'm going to use some garlic, some butter, some brown gravy. And we're just going to put everything in the Instapot and cook it up. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do next. All right, guys. So we're going to start by seasoning up the beef round steak with some of the Creole seasoning. And I'm just going to sprinkle seasoning on both sides of it. I have my Instapot warming up on a browning um, option so that I can brown my steak on both sides before we actually cook everything in the Instant Pot. Alright guys, so I added a couple tablespoons of butter and I'm just melting that down and I'm going to brown my meat in that. So as you can see, I seasoned it on both sides, so we're just going to let it brown up. And then we are going to do I'm going to do this with every piece. Once they've all browned up, then we'll go to the next step. All right guys, so I browned up all my meat. Now I'm going to add some garlic to the pot. About just about a half table, I mean about a teaspoon, maybe a little more than a teaspoon. Just depends on how much you like garlic. I really like it, but I'm not eating this. I'm actually making it for my family. So I don't want to overdo it. And I'm just trying to get up some of the little seasoning at the bottom of the pan from my steaks cooking so now all i'm gonna do is add my steaks back in I'm going to add to that my beefy onion soup mix. And I'm also going to add in my gravy packs. I'm going to mix them with two cups of cold water and then pour it in over the steaks.
All right guys, so we're just gonna put the lid on. We're gonna make sure it's set to pressure. I'm gonna set this for 30 minutes and let it cook for 30 minutes and I'm gonna allow it to depressure on its own, which takes about 15 to 20 minutes. And I will come back and show you the finished product. All right guys, I've let it depressure. There's no pressure anymore. It's been sitting probably for almost 30 minutes. And the meat comes out really tender. If you like onions or anything like that, you can add that. See, it kind of just falls apart. It's very tender, trust me. And um, like I was saying, you can add some onion to it. You add some peppers, if that's what you like. Mushrooms. But yes, it turns out really good, guys. I, I absolutely try my foods before I feed them to my family. Make sure it's well seasoned and all that good stuff. So that's why I wanted to taste the piece. But yes, guys, definitely try this recipe. I hope you like it if you do try it. And please come back and let me know what your family thinks of it if you end up trying it. So I will see you guys again soon.